guys, welcome back to Spacey's Arcade and welcome to another Spacey's Experience. We are on the Virtual Pin Cab and we are looking at Pacific Rim. One of five new tables that Zen is releasing this week at the time of recording. So let's just get straight into it. And this is of course um, theme around the movie and a bit of an underrated movie too, the old Pacific Rim, the original one in particular. The effects stand up even to this day. A good, um, a good movie to watch. Uh, even now, um, sort of underrated really. Second sequel wasn't as good. But yeah, it's been a while since I've seen the movie. But definitely a more sombre, serious theme. I might even turn it up just a tad. Dude in the corner, and I've forgotten his name actually. But uh, in the middle of the table there, which is what the humans put together to fight the monsters. Pretty cool sort of mech warrior. dark sort of table this one guys will be sorted out once we get all the DOS links going across all of these tables and I'll be able to get all my uh, flashing outside flashing lights going that'll be pretty awesome very unique sound there on the bumpers down those cards on the right hand side but I don't know what else to do there. Uh, as I always say guys I don't really like looking up the rules and you know pouring over how the game works because personally for me I like exploring the tables and trying to work stuff out um, and even though initially that seem a little bit like I'm sort of hacking around the pinball table, well in a way I sort of am. <laughs> I just enjoy playing and then trying to work things out as I, as I go along. Try and work out what's happening on the d, &D and which modes and stuff I can get started. But yeah, I don't take myself too seriously guys when playing pinball, I just enjoy it. Hey! Wow, so this, uh, we just reviewed in the last video, guys, if you watched that, the Super League football, and that was a cracking fun game. This is more for serious pinball. So let's have another go at that. Try to work out what that correct strength is. Left ramp there is a doozy to get your, get the ball up. But yeah, you're sort of shooting east west on either side of the table here. Trying to Man, that's really hard to say. 
even with a, an attempted nudge there on the right hand side. Sort of has a um, it has a sort of Godzilla Jurassic Park sort of feel to it. More the theme than, than anything else. I think this is the sort of table you can you know you can sink your teeth into. Yeah, see that's tough that. That ramp is tough. Yes, you sink sink your teeth in this. It doesn't get too grindy, that's the only thing sometimes. But I really can't make that judgment call. You guys have just have not paid it enough, it's too near the table. Lighting, I mean, the lighting's moody and dark, and the flashes are good. It, it could do with a little bit more. Yes, yeah, those lights sort of flash across the table, it's not too bad. Could be, could be better, so they're a little weak. So when those flash like that, it doesn't sort of really light up the whole table. But as I said, we get Dofflinks working on this table and get a, a, a configuration file for it, which hopefully will be released at some point down in the future. Uh, it will be awesome because we we'll, can we'll light up the real flashes around the table. So glad. Zen has got DOF links in, they've got DMD XT, I'm currently running off a LCD DMD here just for this video, it's just easier because it's down low and also for these screens, full colour ones, I need to use that. But I can use my real DMD now, so they've got that integration in there. Um, they're really they're starting to come to the party in terms of cabinet support and I thank them for that. We'll talk about that some more though in a future video and I'll also talk about uh, what they're going to potentially do with VR. I don't know what they're going to do with VR, but I will probably do a video where I talk about what I think they should do with the VR release. But it's all getting pretty exciting. Anyway, back to the action. Tilt, but then had a kick back anyway. I sort of like these themes that Zen have picked up as well. Like, you know, a little bit again, obscure movie. It's not one of the big mainstream ones. Uh, but it's a very, very cool theme to put a pinball table together with. Flows very nicely with this table. It's only small criticism is that there's a lot of space right in the middle where it just goes into the water there, and I'm not sure. It's got to be at some point in some mode where you shoot up there, surely. But I have not come across that yet. Jackpot, kick back, double jackpot. Yeah, sort of having those 
two little targets there on either side of the middle. Makes the middle and just like a dead ball. Makes the middle of the table just a little a little dead. And then really, you know, you've just sort of got alternating shots left and right. So some of you may not like that. I don't mind it. I rather have this, this sort of open table than something too convoluted, which has all your shots getting correct. Well, I'm not going on the left here. Not that one. I put the glass here. So, to a cue. Oh. At least you get kickbacks on that. Ah, oh, no. <laughs> One second time. Uh, so yeah. Guys, let's just do let's just do one more. And I'll, this time I'll just try and focus in a little bit, a little bit more on the game. Get a get a feel for it. Cause one, yeah, because see those two multi-ball things there? That's quite a nice aspect of this table. Because you hit them once, and then you hit them a second time like that, and then you release them. So I can release that second one. Yeah, there we go. Now we've got all three. So you're sort of in control of the multi-ball. It's actually, again, a nice little innovative touch there. I don't think I can think of any table that does that. And the other cool thing is that you can lock the ball back in the same spot. So you can sort of use them and then put them back. <laughs> so yeah, I like that. Remember Zen came up with that idea? Hats off to you. Very innovative. There we go, lock is enabled now. You've got to hit it twice. Next time I hit the ball in there, it's going to lock it back in. Go. So there's bound to be other stuff, guys, like that, that I just, you know, haven't figured out with this table. There's normally a lot more depth than I can really show on a spacey's experience with this. Because, yeah, um, I do, well, I, I sometimes do older tables with the spacey experience, but in this case, these are all new to me. Shoot with the correct strength. It's still not right. I'm doing that right. Pop back. Interesting little same the drift again. Interesting little uh, kickback too. It's a nice little soft kickback. That's gonna fly it out. Hooks over the top. This table, guys, also is very, you know, believable in terms of uh, it could be a real table. I mean, you could even have the little mech animatronics, um, but it could easily be a layout of a real table. I sort of like that too, that left wing, how hard, how hard it is to get up there. I'm at it. What's going on on the DB? Oh, again, save though. See nice little animation on the DB when I do catch them. Sort of a little bit plain when there's nothing going on, but it's easy to read. One click. Getting some millions up there for that. Music's changed. Now oh, that mode finished.
Shot. On to Stalin. Missed it. It's the only thing with these new tables, guys. You miss what's coming up on the TMD. And... Of wrapper around it and make it easier to get into the tables and adjust your view and stuff. But until then, playing on a cabinet, guys. A nice way to play. Nice way to play. And that is it, isn't it? A nice solid little ending on the on the ZMD. All right, well, guys, I hope you enjoyed that look at Pacific Rim. I think that is solid. It's a solid pinball game that you can enjoy. Nothing there that really annoyed me or pissed me off. Um, cool mech in the middle. You can get into a rhythm, get into a feel, and I think once you start unlocking all the other modes and stuff, it's, uh, it will come to its own. So... I'd recommend this one as well. Let's now finish up here and we'll go to the next table that's being released this week. So I'll catch you on that one. Until then, ciao for now.